Good morning, good morning, Carla Nicole. It is a beautiful, beautiful Friday. So not going to be long. Listen, this is going to be really quick because I have to pick up someone who is stranded. So because of that, I'm going to just kind of make this quick. But I do want to give you something that I think is important um, when it comes to sacred sex. So what is it exactly? What is sacred sex exactly? And, and um, you know, why is it that <laughs> when you have great sacred sex with somebody, why is it that it seems like um, you get more attractions? You get more inboxes. You get more people wanting to flirt with you. You get more more even with the same sex you get more people um wanting to be around you because um you're vibrant your 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 energy is just um i would say it's more vibrant and um i don't think that we talk a lot about why it's so important that when we um are intimate with somebody it's not just about um, the actual act of sex or, um, what are we going to be now that we're having it? Or, um, are we going to have an amazing relationship now that, you know, the great sex and sacred sex is great and all of those things. What besides that really helps to, um, get us so, uh, a lot more vibrant than we were before we started having sacred sex with someone. So sacred sex is a sexual encounter that you have with someone that you you notice that after you're with that person, um, the energy that you feel in your soul, in your being, becomes more enormous within your spirit and your soul. So it's not just about the actual act or the skill of the person or anything like that. It's beyond that. It's more of like, how great is it that I'm more vibrant? I'm more, you know, more um, energetic. I have more energy and, and that's really true. Um, some people that we have a sexual encounter with can bring out more of a power in ourself and in our sense of self. Um, and that's not by accident. See, a lot of people only see sex as just being the physical genital collision that most people want to crave and have the best um, experience with. But sometimes you can get se sexual energy from someone that breeds a whole new you. Um, and sometimes you'll notice that when you see different relationships, you'll find that when you're in a, a, a combine with that person and after the sexual experience you have with them, you're starting to get approached more. You're starting to get more, like I said, you're getting more inboxes. You're getting more people wanting to spend time with you. And you're really not thinking it's because of the sacred sexual experience I'm having with this person, but it is because now you're more radiant. You're more um, ex excited about being who you are and it's not by accident. So I wanted to give you something really quick to think about because we don't think about what, hey, Arkeny, what is the sex bringing in my life besides orgasms? All of us want to talk about that because sexual orgasms is a great thing. We all love them. We all enjoy it. But outside of that component of just thinking about the physical pleasure we're getting and sexual pleasure we're getting, um, we need to also think about, well, who am I? after the experience do i feel more beautiful am i more excited about life am i looking to find out what i can do to make my life more purposeful because the sacred sex is really pulling this new found brighter more vivacious me out of who i am um and and, and a lot of times we really only think about sex in the skill how sexual our skill is. Are we good at this action? Are we good at this sexual act? Are we good at that? Can we do this? Can we do that? Are we gonna make him do this? Is he gonna do this? Mm, that's really putting your sexuality in a box, see? Because when you sit down and you look at, but this man pulls something out of me that I've never had before. Or this woman makes me like, I gotta be the man on the top of the moon. 
It changes everything. And energetically, you can feel the difference when someone is having sacred sexual experiences with the right, more dynamic person that's pulling that out of them. And I think that we oftentimes don't think about this stuff. We only think about sex in a small order of sex and marriage, sex and skill, or sex and who is he to me if we're having great sex. That's really putting somebody in a box. Sometimes you got to look at it beyond that and say, well, what is this sex? What's the sex purpose? How about that? What is this purpose that since we're having sex and great sex at that, but outside of that, what is it bringing into my life? Because I should have a purpose behind it. I shouldn't just be having sex and not getting anything from it other than orgasms. I mean, that's great. But outside of that, what, is, what else is it giving me? Is it giving me more confidence? Do I feel more sexy? Am I more concerned about how I'm becoming more and more powerful um, in, my, in my own right? Do I have something beyond just great sex and nothing else? Because we can have somebody that's very, very good at sex, has us, you know, all orgasmic and everything, but that's it. That's all it is. It's nothing else. Nothing nothing more, nothing less. But when you get somebody that you're you're yielding into a sacred sexual experience, it's a different it's a different energy that it puts on your life. Not just because you're trying to define it, but it's grander than that. It's bigger than that. It makes you feel more amazing and like I said, you'll find out you're more attractive, not just to the opposite sex either. The same sex will find you attractive, and I'm not talking about sexually. They just may be attracted to your energy because now you're beaming. You're like, man, I didn't realize that I've been intimate with somebody, and he's pulling this out of me. He's bringing a newfound me, and a lot of times we, we base our relationships or we base our decision on who we want to be with long-term or marry based upon how good the sex is. Let's just be honest and keep it a buck. We don't want to be with somebody that isn't sexually satisfying or gratifying. So we usually pick someone that we have usually, usually decent, great sex. But what we don't pay attention to is what happens after the sex. Who do we become? This is important and we don't talk about this stuff. We just get married, we just get involved with men, we just get involved with women and all this, all these things. And we're not sitting down and saying, but does this sex in its, in its totality, does it really get me to feel like I need to become the best version of myself? Does that happen? And I don't care how good the sex is, it could be great. You can have all kinds of orgasms and all this and that, that's great, but no. Outside of the great sexual, physical joy you have, what else is it bringing you? What else is it giving you? What else is it pulling out of you? Is your, is your, are you being more radiant? Are you more excited about life? Are you more confident? Because you should be. If you're, with, if you're in a sacred love arrangement and you're having great sex with somebody, you should be getting something besides just orgasms. It's bigger than that. If you find somebody that you have a deep intimacy, care, and joy with, you will find that the joy of sex is beyond just having orgasm. It shouldn't just be bringing you children. <laughs> it shouldn't just be bringing you orgasm, but it should have a purpose beyond that. So, like I said, I didn't have a lot of time because I got to pick a friend of mine up off the side of the road, but I want you guys to think beyond just, oh my God, he's a great lover. That's all well and fine, but that's only a small component of what sex is. Sex and sexual energy gives you something beyond just what we desire in our physical being. It also gives you an energy that will help to you to become more creative. You'll find yourself more like, I, I get this great sexual energy with this person, and or people and i'm finding myself more into learning about my creative side i'm more excited about interaction and engagement and building a bigger social life so i can build on who i am as a as a person on the planet i'm more excited about learning about my purpose this this sex is joyful yes but outside of that 
outside of the joy, outside of the actual intimacy, it's bringing me a power that I usually don't have in my in my solo singleness. I don't have that. But if you notice, people that are in relationships, especially good ones, you'll notice that more people are at them in their inbox. Like I said, more married women that are in a sacred arrangement and they're getting what they need sexually, and that husband of theirs or, or significant other is pouring something into her, she's building all of this beauty, beauty in herself. She takes the time with looking physically beautiful. She takes the time with learning something and building her beauty in her mind. She's taking the time to focus on her purpose. She's doing more about self because of this man, then there's a reason behind it. There's a sexual energy that we're missing we're only thinking about the physical skills. We're only thinking about how good of an orgasm we get. He makes me multi-orgasmic or whatever. That's all cool. That's all nice. But when he's building you a whole nother vi vision of who you can become, because he's, he's giving you something outside of just being your lover and get, and get, and your uh, person to give you the access to yourself having all these orgasms. That's one thing. But when you find somebody that you have a sacred sexual experience with and you're finding that that sacredness is helping to build you up into a newfound joy and into a newfound you, you'll find out like, man, I'm, I'm beaming. And people will come to you and say, man, girl, you're glowing. How many times you heard that? You are just glowing. Oh my goodness. What? Who is it? Who is he? What is going on with you? You're all about making sure you look nice and feel good and eat right and all of these things. Where is this coming from? Sexual energy. <laughs> what it is. I'm just here to tell you. When we have the right sexual partner or the right sacredness in our sexual arrangement we got going on, we will find ourselves more energetic, more excited about life, more creative, not by accident. So do understand, I also have a um, article that's, that's out here right now. Um, and I will post it in here to help you guys to also look at the even more deeper dynamic because I don't have a lot of time to go into all of that. But also read it because it's also other things that you have as signs to tell you this sexual partner right here, this sacred sex that I'm having right here is doing a lot for me outside of just giving me orgasms. It's giving me a newfound joy about being who I am. It's tapping me into my own inner beauty. It's actually making me excited again about life, not just about the sex, but what excitement is it bringing to you in your life? And if it's bringing you some real excitement and joy about what you need and what you have in yourself, that's sacred. You're having sacred sex. And when you're having that, that's something that is hard to come by. And I'm not talking about how great the skill is either. It doesn't always wrap around the skill. It wraps around what energy it's building because sex is energy. And the greater the sexual energy is, the more you will feel empowered about who you are. So I'm just saying, make sure you guys share this video, man. I'm making sure to give you guys, dropping you little nuggets, but I'm also a wisdom coach. So if you need one, inbox me. I'm an inbox away. You can also call me at 1-844-5-WISDOM. That's my number, extension zero. If you really need someone to help you to be okay with what you decide sexual partners needs to be you need to be very very selective i'll put it that way you need to be very selective as to who you let in that space because when you're having sex be it with one or many because i know there's all different dynamics and i'm not here to judge it just what it is so if you have one or many lovers after the sex stay away from other lovers for a minute and look and see how does it do? What is it doing? What is its purpose in my life? Is this sex bringing me something that is yielding me to a newfound, enjoyable me? If that's the case, that's something you want to hold on to because that's important for what you're trying to become. We should be always looking for 
self-growth, self-excitement, self-creativity, self-purpose. And when we have someone that is really bringing that out in us, just with exchange of the sexual energy, we start to see, oh, this is beyond just a purpose of orgasm. This is, this is about energizing my sexual being and me. And in that, this is a value I need to hold on to. And that does not mean, let me just be clear, that does not mean you have to be in a relationship with this person or you have to marry this person or something like that. You don't have to define it. It's just what it is. This person is pulling you into a newfound. You enjoy it. And if you evolve to that, fine, allow it. But don't try to structure everything and get excited about it and I don't want to lose it. And then you'd make all kinds of huge arrangements and you're trying to make sure we're together and just enjoy it's bringing something out of you that you should be excited about just as much as enjoying it at the time sometimes when you have that exchange of sexual energy and it's real it's building you into a newfound you just enjoy it why do you have to start putting it in and confining it just enjoy and as you enjoy if you evolve to something higher than that by all means it is what it is. But if you don't, it's okay. Just know that this right here is bringing me to a newfound me. It's bringing me to a newfound excitement in life. Sexual energy is not just about orgasms. And I keep making sure to bring this up because I think sometimes we get so all about that. All about, well, he looks like this and we're doing this and he's good at that and I'm good at this. And all of that is, it has its place. But it's bigger than that. Sex usually has a bigger purpose than just the orgasm and just the enjoyment and pleasure. Sometimes it has to also show you your beauty in yourself. Your lover you're with should be. Actually, this is very important. We don't think about it. But your, your lover should be showing you the beauty in you. And you should be showing your lover the beauty in them. That way, they're learning about self. When we become unselfish as lovers, we start to learn, oh my God, I didn't know about me. I didn't realize I had this beauty. But you have to allow yourself to be okay with just enjoying the confines and learning about what is the aftermath of the sex once I have it with this person or people. What is the energy? Is the energy more vibrant? More Do I feel more excited about life? Or am I feeling the same before I had sex with them? Or I feel worse, like I feel more depressed or I'm not feeling excited about life. I'm feeling like a little bit sad. You'll feel it. Your body, if you're in tune with yourself, after sexual energy that you exchange with somebody, you will feel it. You will know, okay, this energy isn't really matching me no matter how good it was or wasn't just not we're just not in the same flow so let me you know let me just divert from continuing having sex with this person or you can be like man i feel like a whole new woman i feel like i can listen i feel great about me okay so you're a match you have a really good match here. So we need to know. But a lot of times we get into a great sexual um, rendezvous with somebody. And then we're just automatically trying to define it and confine it. And I want to be in a relationship. But oh my goodness, this is so great. Let me do this. Let me do this. With this. Slow down. Wait a minute. Give yourself and your body and your energy field a chance to learn is this a match for me or not? Is this something that's empowering me or not? And then you can make more of a decision on if you want to continue being lovers with them or not. I hope I helped somebody today. Make sure you share this video. Again, I'm trying to give y'all some stuff that I think we can think about outside of just, oh, sex is good. Oh, sex is it. Sex, sex, sex. It's all cool. But sex has a purpose. And sometimes that purpose can bring you to a newfound you you didn't know you were. <laughs> so you want to sit down and be like, okay, let me, 
Let me kind of see. Let me kind of feel myself. I mean, my God, after you have sex, you're just trying to get in a relationship. Wait a minute. <laughs> Be patient. See if this person really brings something out of you you never had before. And if that's the case, then go ahead and pursue that. But before that, we just start trying to wife people up and, and husband them up. And, oh, my God, we got to be this, we got to be that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Give yourself a chance to see if the sexual energy is a match for you on some long-term stuff. Because sacred sexual energy, when you exchange it, yes, Rob, it does have a purpose outside of just being um, in a relationship with someone. Sex has a purpose because it. I was talking about you have to go back to the beginning because I got to get out of here. But sex has a purpose outside of just being a great pleasure for our bodies or for us to reach orgasm. Sexual energy also um, can in, can out, actually activate you as a person. When you are sexual, if you have a sexual match, Rob, with somebody that is a match to you, you will be like, I want to be the best man I can be. I, I feel like I'm a man on the top of the world. Because it is so imperative that you get to that level as you are intimate with this person. They're pulling it out of you. They're, they're growing you. They're making you challenge you. They're making you feel like, well, I need to get groomed up. I need to make sure I look good. I mean, I need to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm providing what I need to provide in my life. I need to make sure that I'm purposeful. All of these things come from you being intimate and having sacred sex with someone that is a match to you. So make sure you guys share this video. Okay. I'm out of here, guys. I got to go pick a friend up that's stranded. So I'm out of here, but listen, Make sure you share this video. And if you have not yet um, subscribed to my YouTube channel, get over there and, and subscribe. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. If you need a coach, reach out to me, inbox me, or call 844-5-WISDOM. I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day. Bye.